In the next video we'll have a quick look at how to do the stripe direction on a sleeve. So I'm going to fill this t-shirt with one of my stripe pattern repeats. Holding shift I pick up all of the the sleeve and the arm and the sleeve in the front and the other sleeve. I zoom right up. I can pick up the back and put the same fill in there. Command minus to zoom out and hold shift to pick up all of these pieces again. Transform, remember that, scale We're just wanting to transform that. It's not allowing me to do it again, which is a little bit annoying. So let's go back out, put a plane in there, back to our fill, transform scale, and now it's letting me do it. I'll make it 60%. Okay. Now I'd like to turn the sleeve I'd like to turn the stripe on the sleeve so that the stripe is running in line with the actual hem of the sleeve because that's what would happen in production. Transform, rotate, so I've right clicked transform, rotate. This time what I want to do, we've already, it's not doing the object, it's only doing the pattern and I'm going to just use my keyboard arrows. Once that the angle over here is highlighted, I can just turn it, turn it, turn it until I see the line line up neatly with the hem. Okay. I can also move that stripe. So if I want to have a pink, a heavy pink stripe going around the corner and matching here, what I need to do is make my keyboard increment a little smaller. So Command K, Control K, I'll make it 0.1. And if I hold the tilde key down, so I told you that was the key underneath the escape panel, the escape key, it's got a little wavy symbol on it, and if we hold that down and use our arrows to move backwards and forwards, we can actually move that stripe around. So I think that pink stripe's not really showing much over this, so I'll go for that stripe over there. You can even move it manually without your arrows, just holding the tilde key down. I probably need my keyboard increment to be a little smaller, so I'm going to make that 0 0.05. And then that's probably as good as I'm going to get it because of the angle of both stripes and I think I'd prefer it to be more of a solid pink at the hem. That's it. Don't try and fiddle with the other side. What we'll do is ungroup and delete the other side. That's grouped already so all I'm going to do now is transform, reflect and this time remember to reflect the whole object and copy it holding onto that anchor point, I snap to point on the other side. And that is how we transform the, and rotate the stripe.